Welcome back to another Slab Stocks 101 video. Today's topic of discussion is what are insert cards? Insert cards are found in packs just like base cards, yet they fall at lower odds to hit the cards than the base cards. You generally get, you know, if it's a 10 card pack, you'll get nine base cards and then you'll get one insert. That's for a standard pack of cards you might find at Target. Of course, there's other brands and products out there that are higher end that carry less cards per pack and you don't really get inserts that often and they can be really rare. So there's really a wide spectrum of inserts. You can get super rare ones where, where there's maybe 10 to 15 of them per product um, made in total of each player, or there's somewhere you can get one insert in every three packs, then you'll get a lot of different ones. And those are way less valuable than the ones that are super, super rare. If you refer back to a, our Cardboard Connection uh, tutorial video, you will be able to go and check out all the different insert sets yourself per product, no matter what product you wanna look at, just you'll see the base card set right away on the product page, and then you can keep scrolling down and you can see the different insert cards in the set. Inserts are super collectible cards by collectors out there, which make them so valuable. They look really good. Some of the designs carry really high premiums, and then some of them are just really, really scarce, and that's why they're worth so much. Inserts really started in the 90s with basketball and Michael Jordan. The 1993 uh, Ultra Scoring Kings insert with the lightning bolt coming out of it was one of the first inserts ever made. From there, you have many more inserts coming along. Uh, for Michael Jordan, he had ones like a cut above, like Hot Shots, Jambalaya, Dunkin' Donuts, among others. Uh, inserts started to bleed into all other card sets as time went on. You started to see them in football and baseball, and then you'd see them carry into the 2000s, into the 2010s. And that really builds up into the modern sports card market today, where we still have inserts and they're drawing off of those 90s aspects. Uh, we are getting really, really awesome inserts for the modern card market with Kaboom, with Color Blast, with Downtown, Stained Glass, Luck of the Lottery. There's also one called Net Marvels that draws off of the Marvel comic book theme. Uh, Panini did an amazing job producing that insert. And these are all cards that don't look anything like the base card set from the product. If you open a box of 2019 Donruss Basketball, you can pull Zion Williamson rookie cards that look like the one on the screen right now. Or the more rare cards you can pull are the Net Marvels, and you can pull a Zion Williamson like this uh, like this net marvels you see on the screen that is much more valuable than the base rookie card, the common one out of the base set of Zion Williamson. So really, inserts are more scarce than the base cards. Uh, they have different designs. Some are you know really really coveted and sought after. Some are not coveted at all. Uh, in baseball, there's a really really hard time finding inserts that are valuable uh, in the tops products where the tops flagship rookie cards, which are the base rookie cards and the parallels of those cards sell for much more than any insert of the players. But when you come over to basketball and football sometimes, because football and basketball, both made by Panini America, both of them have similar inserts, uh, like the downtown I was talking about is both in basketball and football. Those command really, really high values, sometimes more than the base PS or the base rookie cards of those players. Um, so it really just comes down to how scarce is it? Does it look really good? Do collectors want it? And if there's demand there, it will sell very well. If there's not, you can get, you know, inserts sometimes are worthless. If they come in, you know, sets like Heritage Baseball, some of these inserts in this set fall so frequently. They're not, you know, really rare at all. And they're like, you know, 25 cents a card. So I'll show one here. Actually, some of the, there are still cool inserts in baseball. They do have the duo cards from 2018 heritage and there's one that was with juan soto and bryce harper on it um that insert was really cool but still they don't command the values like the basketball and football card market to do more research on inserts make sure you go to cardboardconnection.com to go and see the different sets that have different inserts in it uh, you can look at just like the 2018 prism set we looked at you can scroll down the page and see the different inserts there's a lot there so much to learn I hope you guys found value in figuring out what inserts are and you know how rare they are or how not rare they are. Do some research and you'll definitely find out a lot more. Thank you guys for watching this Slab Stocks 101 video.